Welcome to Tent Talk, the podcast with Nancy McCrady, where we talk about life under the big tent of God's presence and the provoking process of discipleship. Here we go. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Tent Talk. This is Nancy McCrady. The clarion call is from the Father to you to come to Him. It says in the scripture that He waits for you in the secret place. And this is the aloneness that we have with him that is so powerful if we're going to live the crucified life. I pray you'll respond to him and his call to come to the secret place. And if being alone is something that terrifies you, my friends, he's about to set you free. So take a listen to these two episodes. And I pray that they will encourage you to go deeper with Him and to stay with Him and remain with Him and that He will be enough that you will decide, oh yes, He is enough for me. Love you all. So let's continue with this clarion call uh, that before we put out a clarion call to others, we must hear the clarion call from him to us. So let me say, you must hear his call to you personally. I've spoken many times about the herd mentality. that We're all moving as a group, and of course we are the body of Christ, and um, there is definitely the place where we encourage one another, we provoke one another. There is definitely body life that one member um, aids another. Where we are connected, of course, is very important. But that's what's built later when God says that he means to be the all in all to you. He means it. Sometimes we hear these things and then we brush them off because we think, no, I I must be with others. What will I do if I'm by myself? I, I I can't stand the craziness that awakens within me when it's just me. And therefore we, we fear being alone. We make certain that we are not alone. We worry that if we are by ourselves, we will not be able to stand it. But I must say to you that if you are going to go with God, if you're going to continue on and abide, remain, and stay with Him, there is coming the realization that if you're going to go into uh, the very presence of God in a deepening way, It is a lonely journey. And when I say that, I'm saying it with a smile on my face. That is not some doom and gloom. You will be alone and it will be horrible. No, my friends, you will be alone with him. Now, I want you to think about this. Alone with him. In the scripture, I believe in Matthew 6, it says that You know, he waits for you in the secret place, and nobody can go in there with you. The herd doesn't go into the secret place with you. Whether you're married or you're not married, you go into the secret place alone. Sometimes we think, oh, if I was just married, uh, you would still be going into the secret place alone with God. Oh, if I just had children, you will still be going in alone to the secret place. Oh, if only I had more friends, you will still be going into the secret place alone. The call, the clarion call is, come to me. I'm waiting for you in the secret place. You see, we may have many companions along the way as we live the crucified life, but we must understand that ultimately it all boils down to simply this, is God and you, God and me, me and God, you and God. 
So if all you think of is alone, I'm alone, then you haven't yet added in with God. Mm -hmm. Now think about this. I'm alone, but I'm with God. (laughs) Only self could see that as like, really like alone. And places no value, none, zero, nada, nothing. Places no value on the presence of God himself who waits for us in the secret place. You see, we have to come to that place where our desire um, is for him. Now, he's given you that desire. It's a part of your inheritance in the new birth. Trust me, God's not leaving it up to man to come up with anything. And we do get to decide but the the new desires came in the new nature. But will we turn to that? And will there finally come the moment where we ourselves release the death blow to self by saying, He is enough for me. I shall be alone with Him. And He will fill and flood me. And my friends, that's when the secret place becomes the place you want to abide in and remain in. Because remember, the secret place isn't your chair in a lonely room. The secret place is you and him in spirit. That's wherever you go, 24-7. And I want to release this clarion call, even as I record this, In faith, I am saying, Holy Spirit, release this call. Even as someone hears these words, wherever they may be, whatever is happening, I don't care if you are in a room by yourself or in a a room full of people, that the cry within is, Oh, Father, to be with you and you only. You see, we're leaving the herd mentality if we're maturing. We are coming to that place where we realize he's calling me specifically to himself. And it is my privilege to know him at new depths and to stay with him in that being filled and flooded with him. You see, he's getting you ready for the specifics of your life. Though we may walk with others, we are members of the body of Christ. There comes a very specific way of life that he has called us to, a specific assignment uh, that may not, you know, involve every one of your friends and all of you moving together. And I've said these things before, but I feel very uh, strongly that this is almost, in a way, a torture to some people. They fear being alone because of of what will happen. And they fear the patterns of their flesh more than they fear not going with God. And so they keep themselves busy. And there is a time and place for that. But when you can be with him alone in the secret place, comfortable in your own skin. This is going to be a very key part of maturing. It's actually what what makes us fit to even be in true relationships with other people is because now he and I are one as Jesus lived with the Father. I mean, do you not think that's the model? That 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 is why Jesus, you know, came to show us this is how man was meant to live. In oneness with the Father. Through Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is going to be leading you if you go with him. 
when those crazy feelings begin to come up, when that deepening fear comes up, when you think, I'm not going to be able to take it, I can't stand being alone. You see, there comes a point where I pray that this will happen, is that it's like you, you start to hear at a different level. And I hope that you begin to hear all of that for what it is, which is the absolute death rattle of self. It's fighting to stay in control. It's, it's clawing to keep itself in ascendancy, as the old saints would say, meaning number one. That, no, I must have it this way, or I can't be okay. See, the new man doesn't think like that. So listen to me, new man. (laughs) I'm speaking to who you really are in the spirit. New man doesn't think like that. New man says, oh, the secret place. There I abide with him. He is my all in all. He is enough for me. Fill and flood me, Father, as you see fit. Do with me as you've written before time. You see, the new man shares in the very life and nature of Jesus Christ, shares in the life of the Son, the one and only, who has trusted the Father, loves the Father, values the Father, is loyal to the Father, and now the Son has imparted to the Son's his very nature, that they too might do that. And when you finally awaken to the fact that that clamoring, clawing thing that says you can't be alone, you're crazy, you're this, you're that, one day the new man is going to stand up and knock that thing in the head by the power of the cross, and you realize that is not me. I pray it's today when you're listening to this. By the power of the cross, by the awakening of Holy Spirit, by the clarion call of my Father, I finally awaken and realize I've been letting this dominating voice override me, make me think I'm crazy, keeps me chasing my tail. Hmm? And when the new man finally awakens, he realizes, wait just a minute, that's not me. And literally deals it a death blow by getting up and moving on with the father. And as you move on with him, you might still be able to faintly hear the crazy chatter still going on inwardly. My friends, keep walking with him. Don't turn and talk to all that chatter. Don't turn and let it keep trying to embroil you in its craziness where you keep trying to get yourself delivered, where you think today I'm going to do numbers one, two, three, four, five. You've got your list of things, and, and you're going to get yourself out of it. My friends, new man, listen to me. Turn to him. Respond to the clarion call of the Father, of Jesus, of Holy Spirit. Respond to them. This is what ultimately is the only thing that brings true, true change within us, is our response to them. So heed the clarion call. Respond to him. And by the word of God, And as a living witness, I will say to you, oh, he will take very good care of you. And then you'll be like, yeah, humans are, yeah, I wouldn't mind having some humans around. (laughs) But, But if not, he and I will be just fine. My friends, he makes that the living reality of our life. Respond to the clarion call of the Father. Come to him and embrace the powerful aloneness, the aloneness that you have with him in the secret place. It is the tent of his presence that he has pitched over you. You know you are here on tent talk. It's talk that's coming out of the tent of our oneness with him. He has pitched the tent of his presence over you, the spirit man. Respond to him. 
and out of that tent will flood into your soul and body the order of the love of God. And I believe with all of my heart, fireworks are going to come. Fireworks of authority are going to come out of that tent. The ability to be able to walk wherever we need to walk, through whatever we need to walk through, with filled hands, with a fullness within us that we will have whatever we need. And we'll have plenty to give to others. No longer clamoring and clawing for others to give to us. My friends, we can't accomplish these things on our own. So respond to him today. Love you all. Until next time. For more information on Nancy, please visit nancymccrady.com or follow her on social media at nbmccrady.com.